Welcome back to another video. Still in the hotel room for the little B-Day celebration. It was my birthday yesterday. I'm gonna be looking at the Crown Zenith set, all the new stuff that's released, and I'm gonna talk about a little bit about is Crown Zenith going to be the best set in the Sword and Shield era. So if you're excited, drop a like for me, subscribe, do the duties, guys. Yeah, let's get into it. All right, so we got the main set right here. We're not too worried about it. We got Leafeon and Leafeon V-Star coming into the set, both pretty cards, but like, Oh, look at that. Dude, I don't think I've seen this Charizard V-Star before. That actually looks really cool. And then there is the Radiant Charizard. A lot of people super excited for that. We see cards like Entai in the regular set. Kyogre, I was super excited for Kyogre. I honestly wish they would have given Kyogre like a V-Star or something. Maybe they have. I don't know for sure. And I think more cards can even still get released. We got Rotom V-Star. We got Radiant. What is that? Charger Bug? I'm not exactly sure what Pokemon this is right here, but... Radiant Him, that's kind of like surprising to me that they did that one. Zara Aura looks really good on all three of these cards. I actually like all three of those, so pretty cool that we're seeing that. We got Mewtwo in the main set. That is a cool freaking Mewtwo right there. Oh my god! Look at this Mew card! Dude, that Mew is so... that's gorgeous, bro. Like, what? Look at this city behind it and everything. Bro, for a V card, I think this is like one of the top V cards we've ever seen. That's actually a really cool V card. They did Mew right with that one, but how come my boy Mewtwo didn't get a my boy Mewtwo didn't get a V card? Zamazenta, Zacian getting their cards as usual. I feel like their cards kind of kind of always look the same. So into word about that. We got Rayquaza V Max, Duraludon V. I don't know like a hundred percent. Like all of these cards might not come to the English version of Crown Zenith. But most of these will. So like, I can say like 99% sure that we will see this Radiant in the English set. But maybe not like this Rayquaza VMAX or something. Some cards just don't come over. This Radiant this radiant right here is really freaking cool. Eevee right there. That's a cool Eevee. And a Ditto right before it. I mean the main set, even the commons and uncommons are like look really good. Like this Bidoof over here is pretty cool. This Shaman is pretty cool. Regigigas, super excited for the Regigigas cards. Especially the V-Star that looks so good so many v stars guys charizard reggie is like so much stuff this is kind of cool with the like writing on the card i don't know if we'll see that in english but maybe like signatures by the artist so that's pretty beast all right and then ending off with the two full art trainers down here both of those are really cool we have what people are worried about the galarian gallery look at all these cards guys this is crazy so the new ones to me since we last did a video on this almost all of these are new uh the only ones we had seen before is the manaphy and the mew so all of this other stuff is new i really like this ori Corio, actually i think that's what it is um that one's pretty beast this Deoxys down here is freaking ridiculous. I just saw this for the first time the other day, and it looks so good. All right, guys, the Pokey World Cup continues, and we are down to the final four. Voting will be live for the final four right after this video is over. Charizard beat Mew, so Charizard will be going up against Lugia. Lugia did beat Arceus. And then on the other side, Rayquaza beating Mewtwo. Um, Rayquaza will be going up against Umbreon, who barely beat Garatina. Some of the big takeaways from that last round. Once again, no upsets. Our top four seeds are filling up the final four slots, which is kind of crazy. The closest round in that was Umbreon versus Garatina. I think Umbreon ended up winning with like 58% of the votes. Biggest winner, it has always been Rayquaza in this tournament. Mewtwo put up a little bit of a fight and didn't let Rayquaza win by the biggest amount. Biggest winner was actually Charizard versus Mew. This round though, I don't know what's gonna happen. I really don't. So winners of these rounds will be going to the championship. So make sure y'all go vote on your favorite Pokemon. Also, I still have merch left, guys. Surprisingly, merch is still on the website. Today will most likely be the last day that merch is live. So if you wanna go cop the first ever merch drop that I've ever did, you can go get it right now. Shopshinyvert.com, just did a restock. Cyber Monday sale, you can use code CYBERVERT at checkout. Go shopshinyvert.com, let's get back to the vid. I mean, this set is so unbelievably insane. This Magna Zone is new. That one's really cool as well. It's just like so much detail on these cards. Like, it looks so freaking good. Oh my god, I've never seen this one. That is so cool. But Doof, like, <laughs> I don't even know. It's like an igloo or something in the middle of the water, like wooden. I don't know. It's just so cool, man. I'm so excited for this set. Latias, come on, dude. 
This one looks so freaking good. This one's hilarious to me, so I literally thought that car was fake the first time I saw it. Now getting into some of the absolute bangers. Oh my god. Dude, some of these cars just don't even exist. They're just so good. Leafeon V-Star. Absolutely gorgeous car. I don't even know where Leafeon's at. Like a little magic garden place. Looks really good. That's a 10. 10 out of 10 car. Anti on the volcano. I agree. I've heard people talk about Anti kind of looks like a PNG or a sticker just slapped on there. I think it does, but like low key, I kind of like it a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I personally think that card is a 10 out of 10. Semi Seer is not even a Pokemon like I love or would write home about or anything, but this card is like a 15 out of 10. That's such a cool card. I love it. Suicune, 10 out of 10. Easy money. Probably my biggest chaser right now is the Suicune card. Luma Neon really freaking cool again guys like just like the black the little chin chow right here the lantern so much detail going into these cards glaceon absolutely beautiful 10 out of 10 we keep it going with some deoxys cards right here insane we've got mewtwo versus charizard we have zara aura looking super sick this zara aura that's actually really cool i love how like it's a close-up and the raikou beast mode this Hatterene, again, Hatterene's not a Pokemon I seriously like, but it's absolutely gorgeous. This card just looks so magical. Like, oh my god, I've never seen this one. This one's super cool. I was just talking about how earlier in the video all the Zacian cards look the same. This one looks totally different, and I like it. That's a 10 out of 10. This one's, I don't know why. There's just something about it I don't love. So I wouldn't give it a 10, but I think it's a really cool card. This one in the forest, amazing. This is one of my top chasers right here too. This Reggie Gigas looks so freaking cool. I don't know. That one That one might be my favorite card in the set. The Reggie Gigas. I love Reggie Gigas. And then this one is really cool as well. Oh my god, this set, guys. This is going to make history in the world of Pokemon. Pokemon is seriously going out with an absolute bang by dropping this as the last set in the Sword and Shield era. Then we've got some associated promo cards. So I know that these will come in boxes. And then the Lucario will be a uh, promo in ETBs, pretty sure. One thing I want to go over, last thing before we close out, the only competition to this set is Evolving Skies. Evolving Skies has like, what, 15 alternate arts or something in the set? Absolutely insane. Oh my god, what is that? Dude, what is this? Like, y'all see that, like, almost looks like an Aerodactyl skeleton up there? Bro, that's so cool. I got so off track. Anyways, just what I'm trying to say, guys, is like Evolving Skies is obviously the leading set because it has so many bangers and so many alternate arts that you can pull. And we're kind of seeing the same thing happen with this set. But like Evolving Skies was only Evolutions, where this set, they're giving us Evolutions. They're giving us the dogs. They're giving us Mewtwo. They're giving us Regigigas. They're giving us Hisui and Zoroark. Like they're giving us so many Pokemon. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. To me, I really truly am still torn on which set I like better. If this is already what we have, and we know we have this from Crown Zenith, and we still have the chance to get more cards in this set, I think it will easily be Crown Zenith is the best set in the Sword and Shield era. We're going to be opening a ton on the channel. Let me know in the comments, Evolving Skies or Crown Zenith, what do you guys like better? What do you think will be better? And are you excited for the set? Because I know I am. Drop a like for me. Subscribe to the channel. Growing a ton. The next video, I'll, I'll post some more like videos from the birthday and stuff. I just had a lot of apple juice last night. Ain't feeling too hot. <sighs> Hope y'all enjoyed. See you in the next vid. Peace. If you looking for the dope, niggas got it in the bag, cause we trapping on the low. What's up, fool? Mm. Whoa! Subscribe! So everybody, please subscribe to Shiny Vert.